I just wanted to say that we're over a thousand subscribers, people. I want to thank each and every one of you for finally validating my enormous talent and hard work. None of us would be here without me. That was obviously a joke. I would never thank any of you for anything. Good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network, where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. This is Last Month in Music News, where we bring you sort of current music news from last month to distract you from your miserable lives. Like this video, and I'll send nudes. You know you want them. This is also going to be a shorter video than usual because I've been a bit busy and there was also less material to poop on in this past month. We start the broadcast off with Jennifer Lopez canceling her entire 30 date This Is Me Now tour. It comes just days after reports alleging that her and husband Ben Affleck have separated. JLo said that she canceled the tour because she has to focus on building up the energy she needs that's so crucial to finding her fifth husband and capturing his soul in one of her butt cheeks. It's the first law of thermodynamics. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but only transferred to a set of voluptuous Latina booty bongos. It's like being sucked into a tanned hole. Dispute that one, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Spotify is raising their monthly prices again after raising them by a dollar last year. A premium subscription will now cost $12 a month. CEO Daniel Eck also said that creating content costs close to zero today. Ah yes, close to zero, like this $100 mic, $15 arm it's connected to, a $15 XLR cord, a $50 adapter to plug into my $330 GoPro with the second $20 GoPro battery that I had to buy because the first one decided to explode all over the place like a cheap $20 Dominican Republic hooker. That's not counting the hundreds of dollars in decent software and hundreds of dollars of audio interfaces needed to make half-decent sounding music that'll get less than a thousand streams on his platform unless you pay for an ad campaign. I've done that in the last three years just to not get paid on YouTube. I guess that's what happens when you listen to a billionaire schmuck that makes his fortune off of the backs of artists he barely pays. Hmm, that new Focusrite audio interface or food for the month? I also can't wait when my computer shits to bed and I can't afford another $1,500 one. No Dominican Republic hookers were harmed. In this video. Simon Cowell says that he's looking for the next supergroup boy band like One Direction. One Direction is of course the documentary about Simon's everlasting protruding nipples. He's shopping around LA for some new ones. Billy Corgan has said that he doesn't want to play the Smashing Pumpkins well-known hits in concert for fans. He said he wants to pique fans' curiosity with their deeper cuts. It's like a doctor telling you that he can treat your gonorrhea, but he'd rather you try out this new hemorrhoid cream instead. Billy Corgan really has his finger on the pulse of their fan base. His finger must smell like shit. Ray J said that there might not be an OnlyFans if it wasn't for his and Kim Kardashian's fun time tape back in 2007. There also would be less rich plastic surgeons in and around LA as that tape spawned about 375 different versions of the same five sisters. Rumor is they were the inspiration for the characters The Crawlers in the movie The Descent. The different versions of their faces are like they combined every single version of themselves in a the multiverse on this one planet. Except for you, Courtney, my baby mama. Mm, she knows she wants it. Cosmetic company Dr. Squatch has given Nick Cannon the title of most valuable balls and insured his testicles for $10 million. Nick Cannon said, and I quote, Haters say it's time for me to stop having kids and put this super sperm to rest but I'm doubling down on these valuable balls and my future kids. Shout out to Dr. Squatch for giving my balls the credit they deserve and hooking me up with the protection I need to keep this family tree rolling. I really can't tell what's a parody anymore. Um, congrats to Nick Cannon's testicles. Music PR man Alan Edwards has given away David Bowie's secret to not being recognized in public. The idea was that people would look closer at the newspaper and say, Oh, it can't be him. That guy's obviously Greek. Well, holy shit, it works. I can't tell who any of those celebrities are. It says local news. They must be journalists. 
Post Malone recently met himself backstage at the Governor's Ball Festival, where his wax statue made a stop before heading over to Madame Tussauds Wax Museum in Las Vegas. When he saw it, he thought he was looking at a real person and said, Are you f***ing kidding me? It's almost like looking in a dirt-stained mirror. I actually like Post. I think he's a nice guy, but nobody's safe here. On to the inventor of mayonnaise. Ed Sheeran told a story on a podcast where he got kicked out of his hotel room at 4 a.m. He had woke up needing to take a piss and thought he walked into the bathroom, and when the door closed, he realized he was in the hallway. He said he went over to a food tray someone put in front of their door because he needed something big enough to cover his junk. That's when he picked up a sugar packet. Luckily, it covered everything. He definitely has one less chromosome than everyone else. Justin Timberlake was arrested for driving while intoxicated. He said all he had was one martini. He declined the breathalyzer and failed the field sobriety test. Here's the footage. He still has all the right moves. Jennifer Hudson revealed that her father has 27 kids and she hasn't met all of them yet. Well, I'm not certain, but there's a good chance that this guy is her father. It's only fitting that I have duplicate jokes about Nick Cannon in the video. Well, folks, that's all the news for now. You will like this video. Comment down below and subscribe. I'm Stiff Rockwood and this is Jizz News. You know what I always say? <laughs> Who gives a shit? Until next time. All jokes aside, I want to thank all of you that watch this series and my other videos and don't take things too seriously. Like I said before, we're over a thousand subscribers and now all we have to do is get over 4,000 watch hours for the year. I really do appreciate all of you that have a sense of humor and know that none of these jokes are malicious. Some of you definitely need to loosen up though.